Hey guys, we're over here at the Atlas Shaper. So a uh, viewer of the channel, uh, Daniel, reached out to me. He just recently obtained a Atlas 7B Shaper, like this one. And he got it in a disassembled state. I think he said it was in the process of being restored, but never got put back together. So he's missing a couple parts, and he was asking if I knew a source for them. So what he's missing is this screw that goes in the lantern for the tool holder. And he's missing this washer. And that's a hardened washer, by the way. And then let me take you around the back. He's uh, missing the gib for this. Okay, so around the back. So for the swivel down feed, there's a gib in here. You can probably just barely see it. So he's missing that gib. So I looked around in my spare parts, and there you go. I've got an extra screw. I don't know if it's the genuine Atlas one, but it fits fine. And I've even got a spare wrench. So I'm going to send those to Daniel. And then um, when I was working on my shaper, uh, Jim, over at Jim's workshop in Minnesota, he had, I think somebody sent this to him, or he picked it up at a yard sale or something. It's the complete down feed clapper assembly for an Atlas 7B shaper. And there's the gib that he needs right there. Okay, So I don't need this. I'm going to send the whole thing to him. Um, Jim sent it to me for free, and I'm sending it to Daniel for free. Okay, this is some kind of a shaft coupling. I have no idea what it was from, but it is hard. Uh, so it's made out of some type of decent material. And it's close enough in dimension. I mean, we'll have to bore out the uh, internal. It's a little small as far as the external goes. But it's, it's close enough for what it needs to do. All right, so the first thing i got to do is anneal this. Um, we're supposed to get a couple days of cold weather, so I might be firing up the wood stove again if I do. It's going in. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll have to break out the torch. All right, let's try this one. That's a little better. Hmm, it'll bite into the edge. Tell you what, I'm going to put it in the lathe and just uh, try to take a skim cut. See what happens. One thou over. Well, that's half a thou over. We'll take that.
Okay, I think this is nominal eighth inch. Yeah, just a smidge over. All right, I think what we'll do, the thickness is not critical. I think we'll go to 135. Um, that way we can touch it up on the surface grinder. Close enough. Thirty-five. Right there. Lock her down. Let me get some oil. There we go. Okay. This one I had the chamfer the outside with the belt sander because uh, I didn't want to try to get in there that close to the chuck with the uh, with the file. Okay, well it's got some hardness in it, um, but it could go a little harder. I'm going to go a little deeper red this time. We were definitely non-magnetic though, and I switched to map gas. A little hotter. Yeah. the second one. The wind started blowing right when I was doing that other one. <clears throat> Over here at the surface grinder. So I, I put these on the uh, lapping plate with some wet and dry just to knock some of the scale off and try to figure out which side is the flattest. So these two sides look the best. So we're going to put those on here. Something like that. And then I've got a, a fender washer I'm going to put right there to try to back up, back up a little bit in case it wants to kick off. All right. Okay, we'll start with that.
let me flip these over. <laughs> All right, well, that was a little bit of a screw up. <laughs> I put the wrong side down. <laughs> uh. All right, well, we'll do this one again by itself. Well, we're going to do this one again. Apparently, if there's a lot of glare coming in because you got the garage door open, <laughs> you can't see what side's what. Uh, plus having crappy eyes to start with. All right, I'm going to do this one off camera. Got to thank Kimber Zellick again for the demagnetizer. Thanks, Kimber. If you put a rag on top, it's uh, a little less violent. <laughs> do it okay well we had a little bozo incident <laughs> it's a real sunny day and I had the uh, the door open still is open so there was um, so much glare coming in I couldn't tell that I had one of these upside down uh, oh well so one is a little thinner than the other about a thousandth thinner so but they're gonna be fine for a tool post um, yeah, I need to work on that um, surface grinder a little bit. I've never ground in the chuck or the or the bed um, But um, yeah, I mean these are flat within a half a thou So that's going to be good enough for what they are All right, I'm going to get this stuff sent off to Daniel and um, Yeah, maybe uh, Daniel if you're listening or watching I guess would be more like it um Send us some photos when you get that uh, shaper uh, back together. Uh, I'm sure that everybody would like to see what it looks like. Okay, guys, we will we'll catch you on the next one. Try to hit that thumbs up button if you can. See you later. Hmm, I got enough material left over. I'm going to make me a spare one. I'm going to do that off camera, though. <laughs>